The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD, available from SDC Publications. I want to finish this video by showing you how to place center marks inside these circles. First thing I'm going to do is just scroll in a little bit with my mouse so we can get a little closer. Uh, when you're drawing circles, you're almost always going to be putting a center mark in the center and you have a dimension tool actually called the center mark tool. I'm going to pick on center mark here. Uh, one thing I should point out is that I've made a layer called text dimension that I made earlier. I've made that my current layer. I'm going to pick on the tool and come over here and select on the edge of the circle and you can see it draws a plus sign in there to indicate where the center point is. Now, usually we like to have a center mark that has some lines that extend out from there. And of course, that's not what we're getting here. So I'm going to delete that out and show you how to get uh, the center mark that has the lines that extend out from it. Again, like I said, I have my dimension toolbar open. The very bottom icon right down here is the dimension uh, style manager. And uh, if I click on that, it's going to excuse me, it's going to open this box up right here that allows me to go in and change my dimension styles. Now, you have one called standard and what I'm going to do is modify the standard one. That's just the default one. So I'm going to pick on the modify button. And then there are some tabs across the top. Pick on the one named symbols and arrows. And you can see the little plus sign that I have in here. That's because under center marks, just the one for mark, this button is, is checked. If I pick on line, you can see how that extends that out. So I'm going to choose OK after I do that and close. All right, so now that I've made that change to my, to my dimension style, if I pick on the center mark tool and select the edge of the circle, you'll see what I get here is, is a much nicer center mark. If I pick on this one, choose again over here and I can continue to do that with these other circles all right now I'll press escape now um, one thing I'm noticing is that my circles are green which means that I drew those on that dimension layer so I'm going to select all all four of those all five of those rather and come up here to my layer control and pick on the down arrow and choose the visible layer and send those to that layer. Now if I come over here to my status bar, uh, there's a tool right down here that's it's for displaying the line weight. So I'm going to pick on that so you can see the difference. In my layer properties, I have set up for the visible line to be 0.5 millimeters while my center lines are set to default line thickness and so is my dimension layer. With l display line weight on or off you can really see the difference in what what you're going to get especially when you send this to a printer that the things that are in red which are on the visible layer are going to print thicker than my center lines and that's how you want them to be printed. Alright so just remember that when you're ready to change this you have to pick change your dimension style so pick on the Dimension Style Manager, go to Modify, select the Symbols and Arrows tab, and pick Line, and then pick OK, and Close. Another way to get into that would be to go up here and on the Annotation tab, pick on the Down Arrow, and pick here on your Dimension Style, and that will also open up. If you don't have your Dimension Toolbar open, you can do it that way. Close. Alright, so that's just an overview of the circle command.